Let's start. Today we will see how to implement the form validation in Flutter Android. Let's see the main.dart file. First, we import the material.dart package. Then, in the main function, we create the stateless widget called myApp. This is the myApp stateless widget. In the build function, we create a material app and apply a theme. The home attribute is set to a stateful widget called my home page. This is the my home page stateful widget. Here we create a state object of this stateful widget, whose name is underscore my home page state. This is underscore my home page state class, here we will design our app. First, we set some keys for our various text fields and the form. These keys will be used to find out which text field was edited recently. Also, using the form key, we can validate the entire form at once. Then we have a regex for the email validation. In the build function, first, we call the scaffold widget, which is the base, upon which we will draw other widgets. The app bar attribute is set to the app bar widget. Here we use our title variable as the title of this app bar. Then we set the body attribute to the container widget so that we can apply some margins to our UI. Inside the container widget, we have a form widget. We will design our form here. Here we set the key of the form which we had created earlier. In the form widget, we have a column widget. And inside the column widget, we have several text form fields and a button to validate this form. Text form fields are special widgets designed to work with a form widget. The text form field widget has additional useful attributes than a normal text field widget. This is the first text form field. Here we will see if the field is empty or not. Here first, we set the key of this form field. In the validator attribute, we write our validation logic. Here we validate if the field is empty or not, if it is empty we return an error message. When the field is edited, we call the doValidation function. This function validates each form field as well as the entire form as and when required. Here we pass the key of this field, to inform this function that, we just want to validate this field as of now. This is the second text form field. Here we will see if the field is empty or not and if the entered age is above 18 or not. Here first, we set the key of this form field. In the validator attribute, we write our validation logic. Here we validate if the field is empty or not and if the entered age is above 18 or not. If it is invalid in any case, we show an error message accordingly. When the field is edited, we call the doValidation function. This function validates each form field as well as the entire form as and when required. Here we pass the key of this field, to inform this function that, we just want to validate this field as of now. This is the third text form field. Here we will see if the field is empty or not and if the entered phone number is 10 digits or not. Here first, we set the key of this form field. We set the max length attribute to 10 because we want the phone number to be of maximum 10 digits long. In the validator attribute, we write our validation logic. Here we validate if the field is empty or not and if the entered phone number is 10 digits or not. If it is invalid in any case, we show an error message accordingly. When the field is edited, we call the doValidation function. This function validates each form field as well as the entire form as and when required. Here we pass the key of this field, to inform this function that, we just want to validate this field as of now. This is the fourth text form field. Here we will see if the field is empty or not and if the entered email ID is valid or not. Here first, we set the key of this form field. In the validator attribute, we write our validation logic. Here we validate if the field is empty or not and if the entered email ID is valid or not. If it is invalid in any case, we show an error message accordingly. When the field is edited, we call the doValidation function. This function validates each form field as well as the entire form as and when required. Here we pass the key of this field, to inform this function that, we just want to validate this field as of now. Then we write a sized box to create some distance between the text fields and the button below them. This is the submit button. 
When this button is clicked, we call the do validation function. Here we pass the form key in the parameters, which tells this function that we want to validate the entire form at once. This is the do validation function. Here first we check if the passed on key is an individual field key or the form key. If it is an individual field key, we validate that field only. If it is the form key, we validate the entire form at once. If the form is valid, we call the show snack bar function and show a success message. This is the show snack bar function. Here we show a message that the form is valid. Let's run the app. So that's it. That's how you can implement the form validation in Flutter Android. Thank you.